Today we're gonna to talk about something I know troubles a lot of mountain bikers, especially in the more aggressive side of things. We're gonna talk about putting Kushkor in. It's easy if you know what you're doing. Welcome back everybody. My name is Pat Looney. I work at Squatch Bikes in Brevard and today I'm back in Seth's bike shop. I snuck in again. Putting in Kush Core can be really strenuous, but follow these steps. I put in a whole bunch of them and I think that this is a really helpful way to do it. Talk about the tools that you need to put it in. First thing is a really big trash can. I like a big industrial size one like this. Works really well to support the rim. Two, tire lever. Very important. You need a valve core remover of some sort and then any kind of sealant that you want to use. First step, just like any tire change, you got to pick your new rubber. That's the fun part. You get to find out if you want a fast tire, an aggressive tire. I've picked mine ready for today. The first step after that is we've got to get that old tire off. It's going to be a little bit more difficult with the Kush Core in. We're going to take the air pressure out. I'm going to show you how to break that tire bead loose on the first side. You'll notice here that I have a rag protecting my hand. Make sure that you use your tire lever and really push the tire underneath the insert. You'll also notice that with that tire lever, I have it turned away from the tape with the curve of the lever. That's to make sure that I don't cut that tubeless tape. Next after that, we take that insert out of the tire, then the rest of the tire comes off. I want to wipe off all the sealant, no matter who you use, off the insert and off the inside of the rim, and then you're pretty much ready to go. If it is a brand new insert and you haven't had it in before, a really important part of this is to work smart, not hard. Gravity is your friend, and you've got a lot more weight pushing down than you do pulling up. Deal. But I like to start from the top and stretch all the way down. I have a lot more success with it. Next step is to get the tire over the cush core. The best technique that I've found once you've got that tire over the cush core is to get your first bead set by the valve so your logos are lined up and then you keep tension forward on the tire. You're continuously pushing forward one hand on one side, one hand on the other. The whole idea is if you keep tension on that bead hooked up into the rim, it won't try and pop itself back out where you started and then you're gonna set the second tire bead in. The whole idea and the way that this works best is by stuffing that tire bead with the tire lever all the way underneath the cush core into the center of the rim. Once you do that, the easy part's on your side. You're gonna go ahead and take that valve core out. You're gonna put the sealant through the valve, air the whole thing up. It's gonna snap all into place. It's really easy with the cush core and in a lot of cases you can even do it with a hand pump. After that, put the valve core back in, set it to the pressure that you want, and then go for it. It's ready to ride, it's ready to rock. It's an awesome system, we really do love it. Thanks for tuning in to Looney's Tool Time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, put it in the comments. If you wanna see something for another video, put it in the comments. You may see it come up real soon in the future. See you next time, thanks again.